Good afternoon. Welcome. Welcome, everybody. And thanks, as always, for joining us on the program, The Buzz. It's Thursday's edition, and this is the edition we like to call the lifestyle edition of the program. It's one of my favorite editions of the show. Of course, you know that by now. That's because we talk around issues uh, concerning marriage, family, lifestyle, and stuff like that. So all topics that are trending on social media that are about lifestyle issues, we bring them to the table on Thursdays and we discuss them. So you're welcome to the show. If you're a first timer, we do this every Monday through Fridays from 12 to 1 and it's live on Galactic Television. Not forgetting to mention that you can also watch us on Facebook in real time, okay? www.facebook dot com forward slash galaxy tv and you can watch the show on the go anyways my name is patience and today is thursday is the 18th of august 2022 as always it is a pleasure to be here all of my regular faces on thursdays are with me at the table already with pleasure i welcome back this week mrs uche iteho she is an administrator she's also an author she wrote the book the right way to court and uh, she's also a counselor. Welcome to the show, Mrs. Sideho. We missed you last week. Yeah, it's good to be back. Good to have you back on the show. Thank Welcome. you. Welcome. Also at the table, the man who is blessed amongst women. Yeah. <laughs> Every week, he's always holding it down for the men folk at this table. And we like to call him Mr. James Bond. <laughs> Mr. Somi Rata is at the table this afternoon. He is an author also. He's written a lot of books, but the latest one is called Contradictions. And that book actually draws a lot of lessons from life experiences. And he's also um, a life coach and a philosopher. Welcome, Mr. Uranta, to the table. Thank you very much. A pleasure to have you here. Always my pleasure. All Sorry. right. Also at the table, the class prefect herself is here, <laughs> Pastor Dolly Dolly. <laughs> what is a Thursday edition without Dolly a Pastor Dolly? Dolly? I mean, ask yourself. No, seriously. It will be Take dull. a minute and it ask yourself. Be dull. <laughs> <laughs> Pastor Dolly is here this week again. She is a minister of God. Yes, a pastor, in case you don't know what a minister of God is. <laughs> She's also an author herself. She wrote the book. Beneath the Glabal, that book talks about the secret lives, the pains, the joys of being the wife of a pastor. And of course, she's also a marriage and relationship counselor. Good afternoon to you, Pastor Dolly. Good afternoon, patients. Great to have you here. Always nice to be there. Always nice to the music aspect. Oh, okay, the music aspect. <laughs> <laughs> she has too many, she has too many, <laughs> too many <laughs> accolades. Too many I'm also a business woman. Don't you hear? Where do we start from? You know, like, if we start with all her resume today, we'll not live here. <laughs> Anyways, welcome to the table. Thank welcome you. viewers to the program. The numbers to use will be on the screen in a short while. Please use those numbers to interact with us on the program uh, via text messages and WhatsApp messages only. And of course, I dare say that today's topic, well, they are not exactly very new topics, you know, but then because of their controversial nature, every single time, Issues will always spring those topics up again, and then it becomes, you know, like um, a very heated debate, especially on social media again, all right? So we have two of those uh, very common but quite controversial topics that we'll be looking at on the program this afternoon. The first one, and this is where I like to start, because this one concerns me too personally, and it is about whether or not career women make good wives and mothers do career women do they make good wives and mothers uh, recently a nigerian man came on twitter twitter to argue that career women uh, don't and can never make good wives and mothers according to him career women take their kids to crash at a very tender age instead of taking care of them themselves at home. He further stated that they employ domestic workers to look after their children, thereby abandoning their responsibilities and exposing the children to abuse. All right. Now, this man's statements on social media sparked another heated debate, and a lot of people waded into this conversation. This age-long 
conversation, you know, started again on social media. And a particular woman actually also put her mind out there on this issue. And according to her post, I quote, if you have this mindset, stay away from my daughters, all right? Because according to her, she has daughters who are in school, training to become lawyers and doctors. So career women, definitely. So, but if you're a man, and you feel the same way this other man feels. She's just saying, please just stay away from my daughters. But that's an aside. But then ladies and Mr. Somi, let's get into this conversation this afternoon. Do career women actually, do they make good wives and mothers? I'll start with you, Mrs. Sidero. <laughs> it's, it's funny, you know, a few days ago, I was just discussing with my son mm -hmm. and he just said, categorically he's just my son is about 18 okay and he was uh, we we're just discussing mother and, uh, and son. son he said his wife will not work hmm. i said what do you mean and he was very emphatic about it. yes that. he said <clears throat> and i told him that you have a sister and your sister is in school hmm. are you saying after your sister have gone to school and her husband will say don't work and stay at home he said he doesn't know but what he knows is that his wife will not work, she will be at home, you will fend for her, take and care the of the, the home and the children. But after so much uh, education, mm -hmm. educating him, he now said, okay, I'm not really saying he should not work like that, mm -hmm. but he could do some things at home. You know, if she wants to open a shop, I'll open a shop for her. If she wants to do anything, but that and waking up early, mm. go that mm. he doesn't mm. want mm. it, mm. and it was so amazed to me that at this age you're already thinking like, like that. that. I don't know where he got it from. I work, and mm. I was also I, I can say I'm a good mother. Mm -hmm. You know, so I don't know where he got it from. So probably um, society or things they see. Mm -hmm. Why I'm starting with this is because I want us to or see. Or maybe his experience. Mm. I don't know. As a child growing up, no. having a working mother. You can, no, you can no, no, take no, that no, away no, from me no. too. I, no, why I'm starting with this is mm -hmm. because I just wanted to see the mindset of those person that said it. Mm. Probably they must have witnessed some things. You know, I, I felt it. I said, why would my son think like that? I, like you said, I don't know. So there are so many men out there that feel that my wife would not be a career woman mm. a, a woman even they are not saying whether they make a good wife or not even before entering into marriage they have already made up their mind that i even told him that you are being selfish you are you don't even know what what she wants you're already here it, I, I, that it goes to a state already. i was even getting angry why would you think like that you are already making the decision she said that's what he, he said categorically that is what i want you know so there are people out there just like you said probably they have seen some career women and they, i wouldn't say he 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 is what he's experiencing because i made sure that i took care of my children i sacrificed a lot of things for them i i i it's, it got to a state they were the one even begging me i will leave office i will go and pick them nobody picked my children from school mm. from primary school to secondary school nobody picked my children for me i was <laughs> it was even my children that were begging me that mommy please we can take care of ourselves because i was enjoying it and i was also a career woman i placed my family first before my career mm. so there are some women out there that the first thing they define is i want to be a, a, a mother, I want to be a wife, okay. and I also want to be a career woman. So most people, like you said, they already have this, this mindset that career women, all career women can never be a good wife. Mm. So somebody that had that kind of mindset, I don't know what I'm going to say in this program that is going to, 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 change, their to change their mind. But I also want to say that not all career women mm. uh, not all of them that do not put their family in in um, in check mm. i know of a bank manager she said something she said anytime she's been transferred to anywhere she relocates if she's been transferred to vi wherever she they have built their own house but she left her own apartment for every time they they transfer her, she will get an apartment close to her place of work and that is about but that is about five minutes or ten minutes uh -huh. this woman she she's a bank manager of a good bank she never had a house help she makes sure she 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 privatized her family and puts her routine in check so i want to say that it is not all career 
hmm. women that does not turn out to be a good housewife mm. and I think it's a personal thing I think it's something that you want to decide that no matter what okay. my family thank you Mrs. Sudeho thank you for that all right let's hear it from a man <laughs> Mr. Mr. Oranta I just said that society has always been well seemingly uncomfortable you know with women who want a career you know because they feel like uh, when you are pursuing a career you should change the home With front the you know but then how do you feel uh, as a man about this do you think women who pursue careers they actually make good wives and mothers well the truth is uh, it's neither here nor there it depends on how one's ability to uh, strike a balance between your work and your family okay you know when just like you uh, she's saying here you don't know, maybe because the children may have seen what you go through, trying to strike this balance. Yeah. Sometimes they see you, you know, put your health at risk, go through a lot to get that thing. You think, you know, you now say you are doing it for them. Yeah, they enjoy what you did for them or what you are doing. But maybe they are also feeling that were you not working, that the pressure would have been less on you, mm -hmm. you know. So it could be. But what I, for me, I think uh, what's important is to strike a balance. Not necessarily there are women who are housewives, full-time housewives, yet they don't even care about the children. Mm -hmm. When the man goes out, they to go out. Mm -hmm. I mean, what makes the wrong career is that there is a stipulated job the person goes to do that to. brings mm -hmm. an earning home. Mm -hmm. This other person too might just be a housewife, and when the other one goes out. She's done with the few things she could do. She leaves the house and goes out. Maybe there's no specified uh, salary that is coming, but other things might still follow. So you can't really say. So it doesn't matter whether the person is a full-time career person or a housewife. The important thing is to strike a balance so that the family can at least be able to uh, withstand the, 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 the taste of an, uh, the environment. Because mm -hmm. so many pressures are mounting on the families by day. You cannot say, let your wife not do anything. You, as a man, you walk and walk and probably die very, very young, you know, because when you have to carry the pressure of your own financial uh, uh, needs, that of the family, your wife, everybody, one person cannot handle it, except maybe you are super rich. Because this is... You have a very deep pocket. Very deep pocket. Mm -hmm. you know? Or maybe you have... Uh, dip your hand into the teal for so long and something mm. huge had come in. But it's important for us to, even for, for mental uh, 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 well-being, it's good for everybody to get something doing. Okay. Even if it's not that your life is dependent on that. All right. So, Mr. Somi, you think that um, having a career or not is not what makes a woman a good, a wife, good wife or, or a good mother. mother. All right. Thank you for that. Pastor Dolly, how do you react to <laughs> this? Sometimes I think uh, being a good wife or being a good mother can be relative because uh, being a career woman too, you know, when you, you relate it with being a good wife, sometimes it can be relative in the sense that, uh, like Mr. Renta just said here, that, uh, you know, if a man is carrying the load alone, mm -hmm. the wife not contributing anything, the man will <laughs> die young and all that. In another home, some men who believe that for them to even live long, their wife have to be full-time as wife to take care of everything for them. Whereas some men who believe that, okay, I'm a human being, my wife is a human being, we both work. When we come back from work, we both do the house chores and all to, together and all that. And they are happy with their lives like that. Whereas some homes, some men believe that doing house chores is, is a belittling the status of a man, so a man shouldn't do that. So if he does that, it means it's no more the man that he is in the house. So when you put those together, you discover that what may work for one home may not work, work for the other home. So it's always the two people that are involved that matters in this whole thing. You know, I, I remember some time ago, this just like uh, Ms. Deo said, she had a conversation with her son, and this is what he said. A young man said, this young man belonged to a particular tribe in Nigeria. I don't want to mention the tribe here. 
and he said, I am not going to marry from my tribe. I'm going to marry an Igbo. Let me use it because that one I can say, I'm going to marry an Igbo. And I'm like, why is it that you don't want to marry from your tribe? He said, because my tribe, they must tie up. There is nothing you will do about it that will make the woman not to tie. And I don't like my wife to be tie rapper. People, women tie rappers too, don't they? No, but he is looking at it from <laughs> yeah. their own side. They mm, do their like it's, man, it's mandatory. Uh, it's okay. more of mm. they must tie rapper mm. with this actual beating and all that. And the other side, they wear trousers, they wear that's what the way he wants. For his little age, that's what he could think. <laughs> you understand? Okay. So when you look at it, somebody else may be in a marriage. And they will tell you that you are not a good wife because you are, you are not wearing rapper. Yeah, yeah. Because you are wearing trousers, you are a prostitute. It's for prostitutes. That is why it depends on the home that is involved. But I will always think that what is uh, good for you is what you should go for. But to throw that blanket statement that uh, being a career woman, can, you can never be a good wife, that is not true. Mm. You can be a career woman. And be, and still be a good, be, be a good wife. It depends on how you draw your program. There are women that works. The moment they enter their home, anything that has to do with the office, they don't carry it home. Why some we carry it home? And there are also some women that don't work these days. This is our uh, phone is a not work for some women. They spend from morning till evening chatting. All the gossip on social media, their mouth must enter, their hand must enter, their head must enter. Why the other woman is using her time to do something positive with her life, creating wealth, the other one is using her time mm. to do all the gossip in town. And you're saying that, oh, she's a good woman because she's sitting at home, she doesn't go to work. No, that is not what makes you a good woman or what mm -hmm. does not make you a good woman that you work. It depends on how you draw your program to fit into what you do. And you still have time, quality time for your family. You still put your family where everybody can be comfortable and be healthy. Healthy, emotionally, spiritually, physically, and even financially as well. Okay, thank you everybody for waiting in. You know, you can, you can look at this particular topic from different angles, all right, depending on what being good, good is the operational word here, as far as I'm concerned, you know, depending on what being a good wife or a good mother means to you as an individual. First of all, to some individuals, they still f view women as depend dependent species, like a woman must depend on a man. So the, the fact that a woman can break out of that, you know, and actually earn her own sustenance and is not dependent anymore all right for some men that might be a reason to say she's not a good woman or a good wife all right like this person that put it on social media talking about the the, uh, the working woman will have to leave the children in the crutch you know will have to employ house helps all right because she's not on ground and all of that to that man a woman who is on ground you know two for seven for the children and mm. is his own definition of what a good woman yeah. or a good wife or a good mother actually is but then let us talk reality now all right as a working woman i have my own experiences maybe i'll share it at the end and I'll, I'll say which side I belong to in this conversation, but then let's face reality. A woman who is working, can she really function optimally as a mother in the home or even as a wife? Can we be real about that? It, it, it depends on the kind of work you are doing. Mm -hmm. We have um, teaching jobs that can make you come home Five. Not all women will want to. No, be no. I'm just saying it depends on the kind of work uh -huh. you are doing. Now, but practically in Lagos, I don't think you could function fully as you would have wished you, you as you would have wished or desired to be, because of a lot of con a lot of things put together. I, I I met a lady in the salon. She says she leaves home. Uh, no, she gets to work 6.20. And I said, what Where time do you, leave home? do you leave home? Because she's trying to beat the hold up. She says mm -hmm. she leaves home after 5. Wow. And I said, what time did you wake up? Mm -hmm. You know, there are two different things. The time you leave, the time mm -hmm. you wake up. Mm -hmm. And this is what you are doing every day of your life. And when you come back, you are expected to 
do also the house chores, be a good and everything. For me, practically, I went through it. It was not easy. But we tend to make a lot of sacrifice. It takes a lot of sacrifice because we want to put our family from what Mr. Or, uh, from what he said now, mm -hmm. I'm just trying to have a rethink. Probably it could have been the much sacrifice that I've put in that my son is now saying exactly. that exactly it could uh, hey, but you know I said it before uh, it could be his experiences growing I up wasn't, I you. didn't even think my it like yeah. that I'm just thinking it now but because I had to leave home very early drop them and he in doesn't school, want his wife to have to go I through that to, so. I had to leave Makes office sense. Go and pick Begin, them, come and back, come back, and then come back. And and wow. So I think maybe I'm just thinking about it now. Probably mm -hmm. that is why. Yes, we do these things, but the truth of the matter is, patience. It was never. It was not easy. easy. Yeah. <laughs> Tell me about it. <laughs> All right. You know, that's... realistically speaking, <laughs> this time around, <laughs> yes. can a working woman really perform optimally? I'm not saying she can be good. I think good is where the problem is. Mm -hmm. But can she perform Optimal. optimally? Even as with a all wife the house help you have, and the you mother. everything, yes. you mm -hmm. still, mm -hmm. it's not you know, the you same. Know, uh, looking at the ideal situation, mm -hmm. it's a different thing from uh, what is obtainable. In the world of today, even the idea of good sometimes shifts ground a little bit, you know, so that we can, we can accommodate a lot of things. Because if you're looking at the ideal situation where the woman will have to do the necessary thing she has to do, and then, I mean, when you follow it that, that way, if that is your definition of what a good mother and a good wife is, very few people will meet up that standard. So that's why I say it's an ideal situation. But what's obtainable is the fact that everybody, even if you are not working, <clears throat> it's advisable to have something to do. So that the family, because otherwise, if you want to say you want to follow the ideal thing, you stay home and you are taking care of the children, you won't know what will happen when the, when the, when the, uh, uh, the children and the family could no longer be taken care of the way they are supposed to be taken care of. Because it takes a lot of things to make society, I mean, to make the family function optimally. Mm -hmm. So let's take it away from that optimal state of affairs to at least something uh, that is standard, something we can live with. Because the situation, apart from Nigeria, everywhere in the world, there are issues. Hmm. So we have to find a way to accommodate some certain things exactly. which can not really fall into the ideal state of affairs. Thank you, Mr. Sobe. So, Pastor Dolly. Yeah, I think I actually go hmm. with that because uh, making sacrifice usually is never easy. You know, nobody is making sacrifice and you think you will not discomfort yourself or probably discomfort those around you, you know. For instance, when the children go to school, they come back from school, and uh, sometimes because of our work, we need to keep them maybe in school longer than necessary. Yeah. Or maybe when they come back, somebody else needs to pick them. Make some alternative, you know, you know uh, uh, arrangements, yes. yes. Mm. You see, it's never easy with children. For instance, no. if you live in a place like Lagos, Sometimes, uh, as early as 6 a.m., I'm going out of the house at sometimes, and I see children, yeah. you know, that are inside school bus already. Mm. Mm. And I'm asking, I remember. Yes. Yes. Like, when did they wake up? I remember those days when my elder sister visited Lagos early in the morning. We we're going out, and she sees, sees such. She's like, I, I pity you people. You know, Dolly, I'm always pitying you people, you Lagos people. Look at children as early as 6 a.m., 5.30 a.m. Children are already inside school bus. So when did they wake up? And um, don't be surprised. Sometimes we're coming back around eight in the evening. Again. You will see you some. Still see children still inside school bus, mm. and you are like, these children don't know what is called uh, afternoon rest. Mm. I remember those days when we were young. Mm. There is a time for us to, to to rest when we come back from school. Siesta. Siesta. Then you know we always yeah. observe that siesta mm. and all that. But now these children don't even have time for that. So that also contributes to the kind of be, be, the kind of behaviors we are receiving today from children because they are no longer getting the Thank attention. You. There are times parents sit down to talk mm. to their children. There are times they sit down to play with their children. I personally parents don't have that kind of time. Yes. Now schools structure their programs around working mothers yes. to yes. accommodate. Yes. yes. So they keep yes, the kids longer in school. They now do after school lectures Thank and all you. that. 
And so these children themselves, for me, I think the children here are even the ones who are suffering from this us being career women mm. because they are the ones who is not really getting enough attention as mm. they ought to mm. and this thing is affecting their brain mm. when they behave in a certain way we are quick to remind them in our days we didn't behave this we have forgotten that what these children are battling with we didn't have those things to battle with in our time and that makes life easy mm. for us our parents they will just go to farm come back from farm <laughs> and all that and they come on time but i think as women to where we are choosing careers we must also try as much as possible to put our children in the picture mm. let us not forget about them let us not choose career careers that does not give us time at least i know wow. it's, not, it's difficult because sometimes it's not what you want to get mm. you want something else and you are getting something because of uh, maybe the new resources you mm. have the kind of job that you get might not be the job you want to do but that's what you got yeah. so what do you do you have to just make do with what you have. So huh. the children are the ones that are really suffering. Thank you, Pastor Dolly. It is a whole lot, you know, to, to take in, especially, you know, <laughs> we're discussing a topic that concerns me personally. So I've had years and years and years of experience in this regard. Uh, but first, <clears throat> let me put it out there that the society we live in also, you know, uh, the values this society upholds does not also make it easy for career women. We live in a society where, as a woman, for those who are even permitted to go to school, get an education, to pursue a career, those that get that kind of support and all of that, still, society still put pressure on you, reminding you every time of your biological clock. Mm. Do you get what I mean? So you're supposed to, as you pursue that career, also be mindful of the fact that you are a woman, time is going, you have to start a family, have children. That is where I think the clash comes in. Because as a woman, you have to factor in um, how I can have all my children quickly before I'm 40 or something. Do you get? And also try and push it in the career world and all of that. But then in other climes, it's not like that. Career women actually can choose to delay becoming a mother until they have so achieved. Decide not to and achieve that's what I'm saying. You can delay all. becoming a mother. You can be married, delay having children until you have reached a certain goal or a peak in your career. And then you know that you now have that time to be a mother. And then you can now become a mother. They have options. They freeze their eggs. They do all sorts, surrogacy and all of that. Those kind of things are frowned at in our own society. So those are some of the issues career women in Africa have to deal with, okay? As you are pursuing your career, <coughs> you are pursuing motherhood. At the same time, it's not easy. I have met women before, you know, <laughs> me personally. Who thought I don't have children? You understand? Because I'm always, always on TV. So they feel, I met a woman who, met, who saw me pregnant. And she gave me a hug. And like, I've been putting you in my prayers. That God should bless you with the fruit of the womb. <laughs> and I laughed and laughed. And I'm like, Madam, this is my last child. And she's like, you mean you have other children? I said, yes, I have a lot of children. And she's like, when were you ever pregnant? I've never seen you pregnant before. You are always on TV. You're always on, you know, but that is the thing. You're working. You are also raising your family at, at the same time. So it is a lot of strain on women, personally speaking. I do not think being a career woman allows a woman to function op optimally I'll as a mother, mother and a wife. That is me personally. Because even me, myself, in my own reflection time, sometimes I wish I'm a full time housewife. You know, like because I know that I, sh I shall change my children. Even though I try to make up, what we do is we try to make up for it, all right, for all those things. There are times I cannot go for open day, whatever, mm. in school. I can't go for some PTA meetings. It hurts. But then those are the sacrifices you make because you have to pursue the money and pursue the career you, to keep the family going, okay? Yeah, I would prefer to be on ground, just lie down for my children to climb on me and do everything, just be there. But I cannot. It hurts. But that is the reality. I think personally that as a career woman, you cannot function optimally. I did not say you cannot be a good. You can be a good mother and a good wife. You make up for all the lapses as you go, but it's not easy. 
is a lot of sacrifice. It is a lot yeah. of sacrifice. I could write a book <laughs> on this thing we are talking about. Honestly, honestly, it hits home directly. All right, Lizzie is here. Oh, is that Lizzie? No, your name is Romitex from Joss. Uh, says, for me, not all career women can take care of the children because some of them are lazy. How can you be a career woman and I'm be lazy, lazy at what the same time? Even your statement is contradictory, all right? Uh, they don't just have that time. The time it doesn't work. It's not like they're lazy. Ronke from Ikeja says, wow, Mr. Oranta has made my day for the first time. <laughs> we need to clap. <laughs> For the first time. For the first time. I'm right. women today. Okay. Roger says, I'm right here clapping for him. Oh, wow. wow. His opinion over career women palava is a fabulous one. Thank you, Ronke from Ikeja. <laughs> Mr. Roger is actually blushing. <laughs> Our economy these days will not allow women to be housewives. Let's be honest. Except you are married to, uh, you know, all the, you know, those ones on the Forbes list. <laughs> those rich men on Forbes list. Then you can choose a life of luxury and just stay home and just have the kids and just be, even at that. I, I have seen house, <laughs> full time housewives who have two, three maids. Yeah. House elves, and then you are like, do you get you're like, okay, you know, they don't go nowhere, but then they don't do nothing. So, really, it's it's an individual thing and it's relative, all right. So, but like the Bible say, know thyself, okay. But then, kudos to all the women, all the mothers out there who have who have a nine to five job and who are still raising good children. good children, you know, in this world of ours and still trying to keep the home together. It is not easy. Kudos to you all. God bless your hustle. Our ladies